Okay, so this tutorial goes over some of the uh, new features in Echopad 1.4.8, including the new multi-tab features. So um, there's quite a lot added to this update. Um, I was inspired by um, all the user requests I got for expanded multi-tap functionality, specifically um, for um, coming close, not an exact emulation, but for um, trying to come up with, uh, trying to add some of the features of the rare uh, Miyazi Echomatic unit, which was made popular by the uh, group called the Shadows. They had some really amazing guitar tones that used uh, interesting rhythmic echoes that were achieved from the uh, multi-tap functionality of the Miyazi units. So uh, let's go over those real quick. So to access um, the delay control panel, you want to touch Force and hold. Uh, oh, oh, and, and, and so, so I can, I can make, make some sense of this. My voice is actually running through the Apogee One um, internal mic through uh, EchoPad and the iPad. So I'll be able to affect my voice as I go over here. So to open up the delay panel, you want to touch and hold the uh, blue control ring here. And the delay panel pops up, so I'll go ahead and turn the feedback on the repeats there down. So now you'll see all this new stuff um, pertaining to the multi-tap functionality and a couple of other things. So I'll go ahead and go over the easier stuff first, so we can just kind of knock out that. Um, here we have tape tone and tape hiss. Uh, tape tone just basically controls the... Um, adjust the tone of the tape emulation itself. It's separate from the um, echo repeats filter which is controlled by the red ring down here. So I'll show you what it does. So you so can you hear, hear right, right now, now what the, the tone, tone of the, of the uh, repeats, repeats are like. like, like and if I turn it down, then they're much darker. So you can go in anywhere in between there to adjust. Um, tape hiss just introduces... Oops, let me turn that down. Tape hiss introduces um, just extra tape noise if you want to add that to your emulation so you can hear that come in here. So you can use that to emulate some of the um, characteristics of an old tape echo. Uh, we also have the uh, tap tempo and beats per minute uh, BPM sync functionality. Um, these aren't new in Echopad 1.4.8. They've actually these features have been there since version 1 but it's new having them here in the delay control panel for easy access. So um, they do, they're pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, tap tempo allows you to set the beats per minute uh, for echo pad. So if I tap this in, and you can see, I don't know if it really shows up on camera well here, but the uh, beats per minute change to whatever I tap the tempo in. And you can actually um, enter the beats per minute manually here as well. Popping up the keyboard. Uh, once beats, once BPM sync is on, um, you just tap it on. You can actually get uh, delay values that are uh, synced to note values by tapping any of these note value buttons. So let me turn that uh, feedback up here a little bit, so you can hear my voice echoed. My voice my voice different uh, note synced values here. So that's all going to sync according to the global BPM that you have set. So that's, that's kind of cool. cool. You can just turn that back off whenever you don't want to use it. All right, so that's uh, some of the new stuff there. Now to get on to the multi-tap functionality. Um, the, there's basically three pairs of delay taps that you can access now. You have your main uh, left and right delay channels that have always been there. Um, you can turn on um, stereo delay, and now you'll hear uh, let me adjust the delay time a little higher. Now with stereo, now with delay, stereo, delay, stereo, delay, stereo delay, you can hear that the uh, right channel is uh, independent as a separate time from the main uh, delay time here. So I can control that separately as I wish. So you can hear, I can adjust the right channel separate. Now to get into the multi-tap functionality, let me explain that a little bit. Um, you have essentially you have this delay time here, which is your master delay time. So this is kind of important to understand how this works. This delay time setting is the left channel's uh, delay time, and it's the master that all the other uh, taps follow. So it's kind of a master-slave relationship. They're always offset from that master value, whatever it is. 
So I'll try to explain that by just showing you. Um, turn the feedback up here. If I adjust, I'll just adjust this to 250. Oh, actually, that's another new thing. Explain that. Any of these white boxes for the um, delay time, right channel delay time, or any of the tap times, uh, you can just touch and input a value right with the iOS keyboard. So that's kind of nice. Um, or you can set it with these sliders. Either one works. But so now I've got that master delay time set to 250. And this is offset from that, the right channel. So you can hear it's always going to be offset from there. And the tap, the extra taps function the same way. They're going to be offset from that master delay time. Now the reason it's important to understand that is that they will keep that offset. If you're adjusting it with the sliders, they'll keep that offset from the main delay time so that you can create rhythmic patterns and then actually change the master delay time and everything will stay in sync that way. So that might not make a lot of sense until I show you what it does, but I'll basically try to do that now. So we have uh, multi-tap one and two, which is what was in the previous version, uh, was just labeled as regular multi-tap. So that's the first pair of uh, multi-taps, or uh, of extra taps there. And then we also have multi-tap three and four, so you can activate them individually depending on what you want to use. If you want to use all six, you just have stereo delay on, multi-tap multi one and two, two. and multi-tap multi three and four, four as well. well. So, so, you can hear things start going kind of crazy when you have all these taps going. So what you want to do is adjust the delay times to make pretty cool rhythmic patterns. All right, so you can kind of get an idea there. So what I'll show you is, um, let me turn that down for one second. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap my fingers so you can hear what the, you know, what this one single transient sound, uh, how it's affected by the individual delay taps. Let me actually turn the tap four as well. Okay, so this is just, I'm just going to snap my fingers once you can hear how they interact. Now, what's important to note is that when I change the master delay time, it's going to keep that rhythmic pattern. Now you can also come in and adjust the volumes of each individual tap here. So if you want to turn some of them off, just mute them there. I'm actually going to turn stereo delay off for a second there. So right now you hear none of the taps volumes are up, so you won't hear any of them. I can pull certain ones in and out. There's another one. There's another one. And there's all of them. There's all of them. So. You can also come in and adjust. One second here. You can actually come in and adjust the individual tap um, times by entering them manually. So if you want very precise uh, times, and you can just come in and tap them manually. There's one little catch to that. It's not a huge problem, but what it is is um, if you do uh, enter the taps times uh, manually by entering them in with the keyboard. They won't maintain their uh, relationship to the master delay time. So if you then change the master delay time afterwards, it will reset back to whatever their offset was um, configured at before. So um, anyways, we'll just do a quick little um, setting here. Um, and I'll play a little guitar in a second here. I'll just make a little um, rhythmic pattern with the taps, uh, similar to what the shadows uh, would use. So let me get this set up here. So I'm going to set the master delay time. Ooh, let me turn that back down from while I'm talking. I'm going to turn the master delay time to 100. Type that in. Set tap 1 over here to 200. Tap 2 over here to 280. And tap 3 to 360. I'm going to go ahead and turn tap 4's volume off. I'll leave my feedback right around here, about 
you know, somewhere between 10 and 15. I'll just leave it at 15. Okay. Set this up here. And I'm actually going to switch in EchoPad here. I'm going to switch the uh, input. Right now I'm using the Apogee 1 uh, for iOS and Mac. It has two inputs. And my uh, I'm using the internal mic on that. In channel 1, I'm going to switch to channel 2, which I have my guitar plugged into. So you just open the utility menu here. Okay, so now I'm back. And I didn't mention there before, I'll go ahead and uh, show you now. Uh, one second here, pull this up. Okay, another feature that was requested um, for guitarists using EchoPad was the ability to have mono output. So you can now um, tap the white uh, panner control ring, which you can hear. This uh, white control ring adjusts your stereo position when you're panning it around. But you can actually tap it now to toggle uh, the output to be summed to mono or not. So I'll show you by turning on some of the stereo delay stuff again. Mic check. Okay. So now you hear the, the uh, stereo delays are obviously on. And if I tap this, now there's sum to mono. So you can go back and forth between summing to mono and stereo output. OK, another new feature in EchoPad 1.4.8. It's actually a user requested feature. Um, you can see down here on the audio bus side panel, there's now a little 1 button and 2 button. What they do is they automatically um, load uh, preset 1 and preset 2. So if you create two different sounds, store them in preset 1 and 2, then you can quickly bounce between the two. Um, so I've got Bebot loaded up here. So yeah, it's not um, it's having a real minimal amount of delay. Um, then I can quickly switch to preset 1 or preset 2. Also turn the effect um, echo pads processing completely off so that can be kind of cool um, you know you can hold out a little tone or whatever you're using uh, just hold out a couple of, or actually just hold out one note and then turning this effect button on basically it's like bypassing the effects on and off so right now the effects are bypassed <laughs> 